Trinidad and Tobago's 2022 onshore and nearshore competitive bid round has officially come to a close. A total of 11 blocks located in the southern basin were made available for energy exploration and production proposals over the last six months. In all, there were 16 bids for eight of the blocks and Energy Minister Stuart Young says it's no surprise that the bid round was a success. It is a show of confidence by the existing players and a couple new ones coming in and onshore. It's a lot easier to produce onshore and a lot less costly. So this is what we expected. Trinidad and Tobago is a mature province. He says successful bidders will be announced in three months' time and outline the criteria to be met. The ministry has updated its exploration and production licenses, which is the tax royalty regime, to ensure that it is as robust as possible through rigorous standardization and optimization of provisions and agreements. The bid proposal will be evaluated based on the provisions outlined in the order, including a point system which considers a minimum exploration work program for each block, including geophysical commitments, typical acquisition and or reprocessing of seismic data, geological and geophysical studies, and drilling, which awards points based on accumulative footage. Meanwhile, Minister Young has confirmed that plans are being made to launch a shallow water competitive bid round in the first quarter of 2023. He said over 20 blocks will be available for inclusion in this bid round. 